Alright guys, today I'm going to be talking about multiplying polynomials. Um, I've made a video on this in the past. Um, it was more geared towards multiplying by a monomial. Alright, so this one is a little more in depth. Okay, so if you haven't checked out that other video, I suggest you look at that before you try this problem. Alright, so let's get into this problem. So they want us to multiply here. Well, the easiest way to do this is to multiply horizontally. So for example, I'm going to start with my first term here, and I'm simply going to distribute it to each term inside. And then I'll move on to my next term and do the same thing, multiply by each term inside. All right, so I'll try to do this in two different colors so we can um, see the difference. So the first one, I'm going to work on this term, we're going to do x times x cubed. I mean, sorry, x squared. So that's going to be x cube, all right? And then moving on to the next term, x times 3x, well that's going to be plus 3x squared, okay? And then x times 4, well that's going to be plus 4x, okay? So we're done there, moving on to the next term right here, negative 3 times x squared, well that's going to be negative 3x squared. Negative 3 times 3x, that's negative 9x. Okay. And negative 3 times 4, that's going to be negative 12. Okay, so at this point, you just have to combine your like terms. Notice that we have this x cubed, all right, and that's on its own, so we can't combine that with anything. So we'll start by writing x cubed. And what I'll do is I'll cross these out once we're done with them. So we're done with that. And then we have a 3x squared and a negative 3x squared. Well, those simply are just going to cancel out. We don't have to write anything there. All right. And then we have a 4x and a negative 9x. So this is going to become negative 5x. Okay, so this is gone. And then we just write our last term here, so negative 12. So our final answer here is x cubed minus 5x minus 12. 